What's up guys, Chris here for GQ37 and Project FX35. My seat covers just came in. I ordered some seat covers from AliExpress uh, to try to revive the interior a little bit on this FX. Uh, I do have some rips in the driver's seat that's uh, definitely needing some attention. And then there's some sort of mystery uh, rusty type burn in the passenger seat, almost like a cigarette lighter burn or something I'm not really sure kind of weird um, but nonetheless I wanted to get that fixed and uh, uh, Santos upholstery did an amazing job on my G37 with the black and red interior I really like that a lot uh, however when I asked them about just doing the bottom seat cushion portion of this uh, they and we're gonna charge like 185 bucks per seat cushion and that's not doing the whole seat, that's just the part that you sit on. For the uh, driver's side, $185, and then the passenger side would have been $185. And then, of course, it wouldn't really match because you've got 2008 black leather with, you know, the new stuff. And I just was, you know, the price I didn't like. And then, again, it wouldn't have matched. So I said for almost $400, I just feel like I could do better. Ideally, I would have gone with Clasio seat covers. They uh, do an amazing job, great quality. I used those in my Nissan 350Z and they looked factory. You know, it was, it was a really, really uh, good quality and coverage and everything. However, they don't make seat covers, uh, leather seat covers for Infinities or for vehicles that only come with leather seats. And, uh, and so <laughs> my, my daughter's running around here. She's going to help me out in just a minute. So if a vehicle uh, only comes with leather like the Infinity or Lexus or something like that, you can't get a Clasio seat cover. You can get it for Toyota or Mazda and things like that, Nissan, that can go either way, cloth or leather, uh, for like an upgrade. So I did some Googling and uh, I came across these on AliExpress. And uh, they're custom for the FX35, FX45. You have to give them your year. You have to send pictures of your uh, body style and your seats uh, to verify that they're, uh, I guess, that their molds or patterns match or what have you. Anyway, so it seemed pretty good. There's some good reviews or some customer pictures. Um, and it looked like that they turned out pretty good. So for 180 bucks, I ordered, I was able to get the front seats and the rear seats. Again, way cheaper than getting just the seat portion reupholstered at my upholster. So uh, I decided to try these. Um, again, for 180 bucks, I thought it was worth a shot. If I can make the interior look a little better than it does now, I will consider that a win. Uh, so here we go. This is what we've got to deal with. Uh, I'm going to see if I can prop this camera up with the suction cup things that I normally use on the windows uh, are not sticking because it's cold out uh, or something. So uh, we're going to see, but it, I will show you as much as I can um, and, uh, and go from there. So here we go. And here's one portion in. This is just the rear headrest, so I just wanted to see how it was going to fit. Yeah, Velcroed in, and it looks pretty good once it's in there. I'm going to uh, try to do the seat back and the rear without taking out the seats. I think those will go on. All right, so now I'm just sorting out what is what. Uh, there's no instructions, uh, but uh, I mean, I've done these before, so that's not a big deal. But I just, they're not labeled as to what is what. Uh, but these are bottom seat portions and here is the bottom for the for the rear clearly so I'm gonna go ahead and lay that in there all right so the first thing I just laid this up here but I am gonna just go ahead and try to take this bottom portion of the seat out um, you have some little clips holding this seat in you have these little uh, pole pieces these black plastic poles on each side you pull those and then you lift up the seat and uh, so the seat is, uh, the rear is very easy to take out the bottom cushion. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do here. And then lay this out and try to uh, um, put this seat cover on. Seat cushion out. Just gonna lay this on here and uh, see what we got to work with. So, a lot of straps and then all these stretchy hooks. So, uh, go ahead. Stretch it out. This is why you pretty much have to take the seats out to do this right. So. And this, I wasn't sure what this big hump was, but now that I take the seat out, I, I do see that this is all attached. So I'm going to try to slide that over. 
Also, they have many for the FX35, but the color combination I wanted with the black in the middle and the red all around was similar to my G37. And I just wasn't finding that on a lot of the FX35 um, uh, seat cover listings. So I found one that fit, but it was for a Toyota um, CRH. Uh, and uh, I wrote the company because it looked like they made some for the FX and asked them if they could make some for the FX35 and that same color combination and style. And they said they could, so that's why I got these. So I'm going to put that listing in the description. And another one that I was looking at for the FX35 as well. So just FYI on that. And that's why my price was 180 on this particular one. It was kind of a custom quote. But uh, there are some that are less than that and some that are more. So just wanted to put that out there and, uh, and let you know about that. All right, so I just kind of cross-hooked uh, most of these to something, some of them to each other, and uh, some of them to bracing within the seat. And I uh, just pulled them as tight as I reasonably could uh, just to, to pull them down. And, uh, hopefully creases and things won't be seen and it'll be a nice finish. All right, so before I put those, the seat cushions back in from down there, I'm gonna go ahead and work on these. That seems to make the most sense for me. And uh, so this, of course, has the armrest that comes down. Uh, this is the portion that goes here and has a zipper uh, for for that armrest portion. And so, uh, so we're gonna see how that pans out there and uh, try to fit this in. So, uh, so this one's in. Um, I haven't put the seat base in, thanks to Lana's help, helping me pull some stuff through in Velcro um, to the other side. I'm about to put this one in, but oddly enough, this one, I mean, it has a zipper function, but uh, there's nothing to Velcro this to, so I'm hoping that when I put the seat cushion that there's something that that's going to attach to on the back. Um, or that it's just gonna fit really snug and cover that up because otherwise I feel like they forgot to attach something here to uh, Velcro to that There's just nothing there um, But we'll see when I put the base in maybe it'll make sense. I'm about to put that side in and then here All right, so this side went in pretty smooth just pulled through pulled it on as tight as possible and then velcroed it uh, again, there's little uh, patches for the seat anchors and whatnot, so it's a little bit loose here. I wish it was a little bit warmer so I feel like I could maybe pull it tighter or get some of these wrinkles out, but I think in time that will happen. Um, but uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to put the base in and then the uh, headrest and get a better look of it and then hope that there's something that goes to that. All right, so the back are in and uh, I noticed though that uh, they forgot to give me two little slots here and a headrest cover for this headrest. So apparently they just did not expect me to put that back in. Really, nobody sits in this middle, so it's not a deal breaker and it looks fine without it. Since they covered up the holes, it does look factory. However, I will uh, still write them and see if that was a oops or what, if they just purposely left that out. So other than the headrest, I am, uh, I am good with uh, the way that's looking. See if I can get to the front seats before the sun goes down. So there was that center console piece that I saw at the very beginning, and that does make uh, use of covering up this back armrest here. Of course, it's a series of zippers. So, you know, it comes back here, and then you've got this, and this stays zipped up, but you can unzip it to get to the storage space and whatnot there if you want to. Um, this isn't our family vehicle, so I don't intend on really using that, but it is cool that they did think of it, although it is a series of zippers and things you have to get to and it covers up. So uh, just wanted to let you know that that is uh, part of the package and the design, I guess, um, depending on how you want to do it, but it does make it a really tight fit. So I may just take that part off for now just so that this part closes and looks more seamless. All right, so I'm getting the front seats in now. They were pretty straightforward. The back went over the top just like the back seats did. Some Velcro pass-throughs underneath uh, to hook and loop that. Um, this, I'm managing to get this on without actually taking the seat out. There's very few little Velcro straps, and I'm, there's enough space and clearance under, uh, under this seat that I'm actually able to pass my hand through underneath uh, without having to take the seat out. That's not the case in the 350Z, but uh, in this one, Perks of a bigger SUV, I suppose. So what I'm doing is I'm hooking these little 
uh, uh, hooks to the Velcro, or not Velcro, but the elastic straps. And they're gonna go underneath here. Let's see if I can show you this so you can see what I'm seeing. Underneath the, uh, the seat, there are, you know, the metal framing and springs and things like that. So I'm just hooking uh, the straps to that. I'm just pulling it tight because all these are is just to pull the the fabric and the the uh, the vinyl pretty tight uh, so that it, it, it fits snug. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, so I got all the hooks under. I wish there were some in the front right here. I just feel like it needs some, but it didn't. It only had it in the one corner over there. And here I'm just using my again my plastic trim remover tools um, to uh, tuck this in. And, uh, and that's just gonna give it a little bit more seamless look. I didn't have to pull this trim off. I'm just gonna tuck it uh, underneath it. And uh, that, uh, that will give it a much more polished look, I think. There, all right, so that looks a lot better. Um, all in all, not too bad with that. Uh, there's a little bit of a bulge here, probably some excess material. I may take that back off and see if I can cut that a little closer so there's not so much sticking out. I think with heat, a lot of these uh, creases will um, go away. But uh, anyway, that's not looking too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And uh, we've run out of daylight, so I'm in the garage now. And uh, take a look at it again tomorrow and see how we're looking. Also, I've got this center console I'm going to put on here in a minute and see what that looks like. All right, so I was uh, nitpicking that these didn't have any straps to tuck them in, but I forgot that I had taken this plastic cover off. And uh, once you put that back on, um, it kind of snugs that up. So that's not a big deal. I'll show you on the other side what I'm talking about. So here we are on the passenger side, and again, you just pull this real tight, and then you've got this plastic trim that's gonna go over it, and uh, they clip it on the side, and there's two screws here in the middle, one there and one there, that holds this trim piece in, and then uh, and then this plastic uh, door just clips back in. So uh, that, that uh, does make it look a lot better and holds it a lot tighter. All right, so screws are in, and then this just clips in like so. <laughs> there we go. I like that. And uh, so I also put the uh, center console armrest cover on, cover up all that duct tape residue that came with it. So uh, anyway, I got to put one more headrest in. All right, guys, here it is the next day. And uh, I'd say they came out pretty good. I just wanted to do it in better lighting, so I waited a day. And uh, they came out really well. You know, I'm, I'm impressed. For 180 bucks. I think they look good. Yeah, there is some uh, a little bit of looseness here, but uh, overall, they fit pretty tight. If they were any tighter, it'd be really hard to get them on. Uh, the Clasio seat covers I had in my 350Z, uh, they did fit a bit tighter, and they were extremely difficult to get on. I did have to take the seats out for those, and uh, but they did fit like a glove, and they looked stock when they were done. Now, these don't quite look OEM, but they definitely look uh, better than the ripped up seats that I had. So they're a little bit brighter red than I really uh, thought they were going to be from the picture. They had many colors, and I wish I would have went with the wine red kind of now that's a, a darker red. But either way, uh, I'm still good with this. It's a nice color pop, but they do have many color options. And keep in mind that uh, the prices on AliExpress, uh, they fluctuate. Um, just like on eBay and other places and so the price I paid may not be what's showing up today or tomorrow But uh, overall again really happy with these now do they compare to uh, an actual stitched Leather like what I did with my g37 and well you get what you pay for now my g37 It does look uh, a bit different and a bit better But you got to understand I took this to an upholster with my g37 and it was eleven hundred dollars It was like five hundred for the front six hundred for the back seats and they look great um, but, uh, and with a, you know, very factory quality and black stitching and everything actually sewn on there. You know, keep in mind, this is a seat cover. Uh, however, for 180 bucks, it's a really good seat cover. This is not like Walmart quality. Uh, they did a good job with the, the fit and finish and it is vinyl. It's not real leather. Um, but they, again, they, they did good. And for what it is, I'm happy with it. I love the way it looks from the outside of the vehicle. You know, just seeing through there, you don't see these with red leather seats or uh, red interior rather. And I think that is a, is a nice touch. It definitely stands out. Uh, 
especially since my front windows aren't tinted right now. But that's going to change tomorrow. I'm getting that tinted. And I love just opening the back hatch when I'm loading up stuff and uh, seeing the red. It's just a nice pop. I think red interior on a black car or a white car is a nice contrast. So uh, I was glad I was able to do that. You guys know I like that with my G, so keeping the theme here. Uh, but again, just wanted to update you guys on this. Hopefully this is helpful for any of you looking uh, at maybe doing this or uh, maybe fixing some, some rips or some <laughs> boo-boos in your seats or if you just want to change the color. So uh, here's what they look like. Links are in the description. Thanks so much guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. had